significant part of the payments uh, uh, universe, which we don't think crypto assets will be, but stable coins might be, then we need an appropriate regulatory framework, which frankly we don't have. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance, agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it's all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. Also, those who donate to the Cash Shop, Patreon, much love, keep it coming. And then also those who are shopping at both stores, much love, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And we know we have back here. So we know we're going to have a pullback. How big that pullback is going to be depending on this weekend. Plus, we have Grayscale. And, of course, we're going to get into that later. We have Steve Mnuchin, who disappeared and now is coming back on CNBC. Says it's fine to buy Bitcoin as a gold substitute. Now, here they come, guys. They don't tell you, hey, you may want to invest in both. Remember, in order to get to their goal, it's the Hegelian dialectic. We know gold is not going anywhere, and we know Bitcoin is not going anywhere because we know about Bitcoin Lightning. Now, we have Bitcoin may have played a role in Tesla's decorrelation from big tech. And guys, we know that Tesla was already going like over a thousand times earning. So as we pull back, it was going to take the biggest pullback. But guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators, which is going to be so important. We know the weekend is coming. We know they're the only game in town, but we do have back and grayscale. So, guys, volume, tether, and look like tether is going backwards instead of going forwards. And we have USDC that hasn't moved much either. So, guys, now that we have back here and grayscale, if we don't get anything from grayscale, we're definitely going to head lower. Now, don't forget about the Fed and the Fed app. We had Jerome speak yesterday. I did a video on that last night. Please go check that out. Of course, inflation was a big topic. We see prices all around the country just keep moving up. But he stated that cryptos have no place, but stable coins definitely will, and we need regulation. And guys, we know that's not true because we know this whole economy is going to be tokenized and put on blockchain. So, of course, you're going to have your currency tokens. You're going to have your utility tokens, gaming, real estate, and then also you'll have your privacy tokens. And we know the Fed wants to keep everything private. That's the reason why they're working on the private blockchain. Now, guys, like I stated, back is here. So as we see, we're not getting anything from Tether. We haven't seen any big purchases around. So we're definitely going to get that pullback if we don't see anything happen. So again, make sure you're paying attention to Grayscale. That lockup period ends this Monday, but they still have that Grayscale trust locked up. So it's definitely going to be interesting. Make sure you're keeping your eyes on that. Now, getting over into a little crypto news. 
we have the Italian finance regulators issue warning on Binance crypto exchange. So again, guys, Binance is in the news, but we don't see any real crackdown. So we know this is definitely an agenda. Now, this article came from our Patreon, remember? Teamwork makes the dream work. We have Las Vegas Adult Club now accepts Bitcoin payments over the Lightning Network. And guys, if we go back to the internet, without those adult sites, we wouldn't have the internet. We know that. When we saw Dogecoin get accepted by the adult entertainment industry, we started to see it move up. It's the same play. Now, we also have Bitcoin Lightning Network nodes count doubles in three months. And guys, remember Bitcoin Lightning is working behind the curtain. We receive no information on it the same way as Facebook DM, that social platform, and that's exactly what they want to run in. So therefore, you have your social credit, your social shopping, gaming, working. It's all social. That's how you get the masses moved in without them even knowing. Now we have crypto derivatives exchange Bybit now launches spot trading. And then also we have Ave is now trading on Binance.us. Now we have the SEC delays decision on Wisdom Tree Bitcoin ETF. So guys, that's all we keep seeing is delays. Why? Because they're trying to kick this thing down the road. The reason why? Because they want that regulation. Because once they have an ETF, as we can see, other countries have ETFs, but it's not affecting the Bitcoin price. Once they can get regulation and they can move in these pension plans, Bitcoin will go through the roof. Cryptos will go through the roof. Now we have NFL running back for the New York Giants, Saquon Barkley, is converting endorsements to BTC through Stripe. And again, guys, what does this help with? Adoption, the masses. Once they see that, hey, this guy is taking millions of dollars and putting in cryptos, I may want to think about it. And lastly, guys, we have the White House plans a ransomware task force. So guys, we definitely see the narrative being built up. Remember I told you, they have to build up a narrative. We have several of them going on. We have Trump back. We have all this free money about to end. So we know that this economy is going to move down, but they can't tell you they took your money. It has to be a distraction. And it's definitely coming because we know when it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. Now, that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Now we have the three kids books. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. Do not forget about Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. Why everybody's sitting at home, got their own stocks, the Zebra, the biotech stocks. And why everybody's at home getting free money or waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and y'all have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate, but let's get into the video. Part 1, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim, Save the Village. Part 2, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim, Save New York. 
Um, COVID 33, part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tam goes to China. It's mandatory to get part 1, part 2, and part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.